Hi everybody, today we got a special package in the mail, it's from Lintech, been waiting for this for quite some time now, I actually joined the Kickstarter for, let's see, back in November, and I finally emailed the president, let's see, I'm going to get this out to me. I'm going to unbox this. Get this right here. Good. They usually actually shipped a two-day mail after I sent them an email. So here we got the Troop Glide Apex Fine Point Electronic Stylus. Yeah. Look at that. Quadruple A battery. I did get the uh, iPad case. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this, but did get the iPad case. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. The magnet. Magnet's kind of a little on the weak side. Yummy gel. That. Oh, it's got a pretty nice interior. A little to hold the stylus. It's actually quite similar to what I have right now. From the it's on. Okay, let's get that out of the way. That. And here's the star of the show. Ooh, look at that. Kickstarter holster. True Glide logo there. Whoa. Look at that, guys. Been waiting for this for quite some time. Let's see. Let's get the box out of the way. Unscrew it. It actually has a battery in it. It's a little on the short side. Main competition right here is the jot script. It's a little side by side. Get the holster out of the way. So you get actually you get uh, an extra battery and a extra nib. Nice. Let's see here. Remove insulator while okay. We have two. Actually, compares to the pencils. size comparison there and compared to still my favorite the uh, jot touch it's one that has a cap on to give you a little idea of size comparison there so I think it's actually the shortest of all <laughs> For being short, it's actually actually feels a little heavier than the uh, script. I don't know if that'll Let's get a close up of the tip. Compared it 
Let's see what else. Now it does have a looks like rubber, feels like rubber. Looks like it's, the uh, jot script has a polymer resin tip. Doesn't have any give. Does We're gonna set the iPad and give it a little test. Let's try this. Let's see. Set that up. Let's see. Actually, I can go back to here. I'm supposed to remove this. This. Says remove while up in operation. So I'll just set that there. I'm not sure if it's supposed to reconnect. Oh, there we go. I was wondering what that was. Nice indicator light. It's on. Off. There we go. Let's see if we need to pair this. Turn this on. Oops. Bring that back to a little closer. Bluetooth. So it's on, but look like it's being recognized as a Bluetooth device. So maybe that's just the nature of it. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I like that. It's very responsive. Very responsive. I like this. Let's see. Very nice, very low angles. Let's see. Try that again. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to switch it up. Got the main display here. Let's have a little fun with this guy now. So there's a little drag with this across the surface of the iPad. It's, it's still 
pretty smooth. I don't know if I'm about kind of rotating it to um, not wear one side too much. The camera will actually, the side camera will pick that up. It's moving too fast for it, like Bruce Lee or something. No, not really. Okay, so we'll move that down. Let's see, I'm just going to use just a stylus this time. I've seen a lot of cats being posted on Tumblr, so. Actually, it looks more like an owl right now. <laughs> we'll fix that. Just a moment. Yeah, the uh, drawing angles look very good on this. So just, just registering that. I'm coming in at really steep angles here. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video as we uh, wrap up. I will be making a part two of, uh, with further testing on with different apps, um, showing some of the palm rejection. And if you guys would like to see um, specific apps used with this stylus, uh, send me a note or add a comment to this video and I'll try to include that in the second video. I did run into some problems with the stylus um, and I'll show those also in the next video but uh, thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed please like and subscribe to my channel thanks